Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to more Mother 3 Blind Pies. What? That was terrible. <laughs> I'm not even gonna change that. I'm not even gonna change that. But in the last episode, we met the Mag... Magipsies. Magipsies. That's what they're called. I was told that's what it's called. And you know what? That's what it's called. And uh, we also went through the cave while Alec was trying to cheer Flint up because, you know what? Flint's going through a lot of trauma right now. You know, he lost his wife. His kids are missing. And he's in a panic. He's a good dad. And uh, where are we exactly? Let's take a look at the map. We're inside a cave right now. Where stuff's about to go down. I can't even check the map right now because the button's not working. But, um, huh. So I guess the only way to go is up, I suppose. What is in this box right now? Let's actually take a look at our items that we've got going on over here. Yes, I've been trying to open the map. Okay, so we have um, a few things. Do we have enough space? Let's see, what did we get? Some beef jerky, y'all love to see that. What, aliens, again? Of course it's the alien music. What's up, dude? This is the way to start. The little jerks, <laughs> run for it. What a bunch of jerks, they, they suck. What, but what is this stuff? In only a few seconds, this instant revitalizing device fully revitalizes you. Get into the instant revitalizing device. Um, it's awfully suspicious, but I don't think the game would lie to me. I hope. Cross my fingers. Let's get in there. Does it work? Ah, uh, yeah, it worked. I heard that music. Hope you know how like snouts on our faces. Good, good on us. You're fully revitalized. What's this joystick over here? Some strange stuff you never seen before is lying here. Like this joystick. Oh, look at that. I, I guess there's nothing really there to do. Uh, I have a feeling something bad is about to happen, though. If we have a save point and a healing point at the same time. Uh, Alec, prepare yourself. Uh, I'm pretty sure things aren't going to be ending well. Look at this UFO over here. What? With the pig no noses and stuff like that. And all that in the interviews. I just love, like, the usage of aliens here. I'm not the biggest fan of aliens myself. But I think it's really nice how they incorporate in this game so far. I, I quite like them actually. Oh my god, what the heck is that? That was like a giant scorpion or something. Let's kill it. Let's do it. Get in the battle. A Titani? Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Alright, there we go. Did one bash. It brandished a pincer. Oh, jeez. It urged Flint to be careful. He's not fighting anymore. I guess he's like worn out of it, I suppose. Or he's like, it's too tough for him. Old man Flint. Flint? To hand. Oh no, we're asleep. Ugh. Oh no, I, I don't like that. I don't like being asleep. Get up. Get it together, Flint. I, I don't want you to be struggling. Yeah, that was. There we go. That was that was a tough one. That was a tough one. The bat. It really a running bomb. I can't carry more stuff. Uh, no, I don't really. I will give up the running bomb. I don't think I'll have to try that bomb out though. I do have a bomb. Which I could possibly try out. Let's let's try to eat let's eat this edible mushroom. Why not? I, I know I said like it looked important, but really it's 20 HP. Like how important could that mushroom possibly be? Hello, vulture. I see you up in the sky. Oh look at that! A bald eagle. That's a vulture. No, no, don't even try that. It's nowhere near a ah heck attack. Oh yeah. So I guess Alec only fights when he finds his opponent weak. That, did, that took a lot of hit from Flint's one attack, so I think I figured that out. Alright, let's- Whoa, these rocks are awfully suggestive, I'm just saying, but uh... A sprinting bomb? Huh, we've got a lot of bombs going on. Do we need all these bombs or something like that? Interesting. Let's take a look at our handy dandy... Can we not look at our map at all? I, I guess not. I'm hitting every single button that I can on here. Oh, we can check our stats like that. Cool, the select button. Uh, I figured that out, but let's see. No problems here. Uh, I feel like there's a problem. Happening. Can we like skip across these rocks? Why did you come back? Why did you come back? No, I, I already fought you. We're, we're, we're not doing this one again. You gotta get go away. I already fought a Titani. Yes, we're gonna go up here instead. Oh my god. Vultures, they, they ambushed me. All right, well, I don't care if you're a balding you. You're grinning. That's your opportunity that you take. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on, Alec. Into the fridge. There we go. Stop that counter. I love that stop and counter thing still. It's really good. It's really good. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. What can we do now? I, I know I'm more focused on the game. I, I love to talk. I love to talk about all this stuff. Oh, I'm full of stuff. I'm full of goodies. Let's eat some of that beef jerky. Mmm, sun-dried. Delicious. But I want to get as many, many of this, these things as possible. Can we knock that? I guess we can't reach over there. I thought you could, like, knock that. That rock looks awfully precarious over there, but, uh... 
I suppose not. Let's let's just keep going and ah oh, yeah, get that timing down. Oh, Alex did fight. Okay, he can do two. It's not bad. He's not terrible. Just just keep running. Go 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 go. No, don't fall asleep. Yeah, you dodged that. I'm just like, huh. Get away from here. Yeah yeah, good job, Flint. What did we pick up? Nothing. That's fine by me. Inventory space is always a good. Uh. Yeah, is there like another place we can get a map or something? Oh my god, there's so many enemies, so many enemies, but uh, when I get to the point, tell me when I have to cut up, because I'm still feeling like it's still early on in the game, where it's like, it's not necessary to like cut up stuff, but uh, oh, I am full of stuff, uh, sure, we'll get rid of that antidote, I, I really don't want too many antidotes, I really should get rid of that other inventory stuff, oh my gosh. But that's what happens when you uh, record ahead of time, because you're not able to see exactly everything that's going on. We're getting a lot of this stuff. Okay, uh, I don't think I'll... But someone else could wear that Ares bracelet, I, I think. But uh, I don't think we're running into too many of the poison stuff right now, so I'm really not concerned about having them. Like your running bomb with, ooh, explosive damage. I really should try that out. Nice. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's all such good stuff. This is the problem with RPGs, especially when you have like such a limited inventory space. I don't know what to do about this. But uh, let's see. Oh god, we were just there. Don't want to go back down. These rocks. Alright, well, uh, go away. I keep getting ambushed. This is not exactly good. Ooh. Ugh. No. Run again. I couldn't run. I couldn't run. I couldn't run. Still? Oh jeez. Oh no 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 no. I don't wanna I don't wanna have a death. A death this early on into the game. It's like, alright, well there we go. Run away. I need to eat that jerky because too much stuff is happening. Uh use that. Delicious. Mmm. So much food has to be eaten. This is like the Digimon adventure all over again where it's like, you know, let's just talk about food for the first 10 episodes. The entire half of the season is like, I'm starving. I know that. But kids, come with more creative dialogue. I know you're kids, but still. Ah, just need a nice water. But uh, yeah, maybe that's just the English writing where it's like, you know, they're kids. Let's, let's just write about food. That works. That works, you know. That I'm not really... Oh, a cutscene. Let's do it. Oh! It's a little baby! It's the baby one! I don't want to hurt it! Look at how cute it is! Don't tell me you're gonna take revenge on that little bugger! <laughs> don't do it! Oh! My cute little heart can't take those little dragos. They're so cute! Was that a shoe? What is that? Let's see. I just wanna- Oh, it is a- Is it just a shoe? One of Claus's favorite shoes. Oh no. This belongs to Claus! I, I know. And I was a baby Drago just now. It, didn't you see? It was so cute. <laughs> Claus must be around here somewhere. Oh no. Got a child shoe. That's how he now has started. Claus, don't die. I, I can't afford- I, my heart can't take losing another person. This is too much. You know, losing so many people right off the bat. You know, that, that would sting. That would sting a little bit. Let's see. Nut bread. Not as good as beef jerky. It's all about the jerky, yo. Oh my god, those trees move! Well, oh my god, what are you doing? Those gestures are not very appropriate, actually. Look at those leaves in the background. Oh my god, I didn't even notice, like... I wonder if, like, each of them has, like, something, like, special about them. Ooh, smash! Oh, smash it right back at ya. Right back at ya. <laughs> my vacuum attack. And my defenses. Oh, man. That's a little, that's a little scare bear that, that's doing it. Nobody comes to help a tree that does the fingers like that. Oh my god! Stop, stop, stop. That was, that was really scary. That was really scary. Oh my god. Ugh. I don't want, that was, do those trees like kill themselves like that? That's horrible. That's horrible. All right, well, um... Uh, well, uh, note to self, don't mess with the trees, because they do cause moral damage, but oh my god, what is that pad? And, and it's another tree. Okay, well, uh, I don't have time for the stupid trees, but uh, I'm gonna fight anyways. Ooh. Nobody's gonna help a tree that explodes. These gestures are rude, sir. Sir. Oh, no, 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 no. I guess the trees aren't so threatening if they do that explosion attack and just mash through the dialogue. But if there's multiple trees, that could be like really bad. 
It bursts into flames. Ooh, stop, stop. There we go. There we go. That's that's a secret. So I guess it is bad if they call a lot of them together. You just gotta get the heck out of there. But what is this machine? I just wanna read the dang machine. Is that too much? Was I not worthy? You know what? I don't care. I, if, as long as these trees give good experience, I, I will do it. If, as long as reinforcements don't come for them, these trees are fine by me. But what kind of tree just combusts on fire like that? This isn't like... California or stuff like that. Sorry for you all you Californians. I, I know it's not easy with that stuff, but uh, oh my god. Stop. There we go. Ooh. Look at that. Free. It's basically free experience with the bob up you buy in Super Mario. Kind of like that, I suppose. But let's just use the nut bread. Why not? Because we are running into the Maybe the bombs work. This looks like just the thing you saw at the top of the cliff. That's why I was trying to look. This one appears to be broken, however. Maybe that's how the aliens get around from place to place, besides from our spacecraft. But look at that, we got more room for this stuff. Bert, get away from that tree, it's gonna hurt you. Don't think you see what it did? It exploded. Hello, bird. Chirp, chirp. Up ahead is Drago territory. Please be careful if you're heading further in. And that's the end of the sparrow life. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Aw, good old sparrows. There's his other shoe. Oh my god, don't get naked, Claus. That's not appropriate. Oh, <laughs> it's Claus's other shoe. He turned into a rock. <laughs> what if he was like Aunt Peggy that turned into a skull? Thank you, Luann. Not quite, but Claus, we're here to rescue you. Where are you? Oh no. What did they do to that Drago? Oh no, don't tell me this is the same one we fought before. I, I couldn't take it. What is that? That it's not our Drago anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. What is wrong with these alien dudes making it? That's terrible. These dragons are just so sweet and then you... Ugh. All right, well, I I'm a little distraught by this. This is, this is not good. I am. I am not okay with this. The poor, oh geez. Battle, battle time. The Mecha Drago, what are we gonna do? All right, well, since this is a boss, I'm definitely going to, uh, Toughen up. I want to be able to take hits as best as I can. Increase my defenses by seven. A biting attack. It missed. Alec, you're fighting too. Thankfully, they can't hurt you. What if they can just hurt Alec and he doesn't have like any stats at all? It's like a war cry. Oh, jeez. My, my, I just boosted that offense. All right. Well, uh, let's use our goods. Uh, get away from me. Fly. You're flying my face. I pounced on that. It pierced the mecha dry goes tough hide. It let out a howl. It stopped with this giant foot. Ooh. Attack. Alright, can we strike up again? Power up. Alright, because I don't want to be like just at a disadvantage. So we use the Drago Fang. Do we just use it again or do we actually just fight this time? Now it's pierced. Alright. Use the biting attack. Alright, let's do this. Do your best, Flint. You can do it. How much HP? You know it'd be nice if there's like a way to like see how much HP it is. Is that like what? Uh, I don't think Bodhi can do that, but uh, you know what? It's, it's something that would be useful. Uh, at this point, I I didn't mean to guard. I meant to use an item. Okay, well, all right. As long as it's like not too bad. Uh, let's eat some of that beef jerky. We're gonna try that bomb out next to it. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Okay. Stop with that giant foot. Uh, okay. So running bomb attack. All right, there we go, 77. That, that was good, that was good. A roar, oh my god, oh my god, okay. Uh, let's see, beef jerky, use it. May your wounds be closed because of jerky. Uh, very much deliciousness. Cold key. Oh yeah, 54 damage. All right, hopefully this thing is being taken up. We're doing a solo match, basically, with an assist from Grandpa Alec. Ooh. Miss, okay. Okay, let's, let's take some nut bread. Eat it! Having as many healing items as possible seems to be the most beneficial thing right now, but, uh, bash attack. It's like, crash bash. Do we have to use that thing once? I hope so, we have to use the fang once, because, you know, sticking with the fang is, 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 it's not nice. It's not nice, but, uh, ooh. Flames? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. Alright, quickly, quickly, quickly. Nut bread. Replenish your health. Don't let the flames hurt you like that. Uh, I am running out of items real fast right now, and this is 
Not good. Not 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 good at all. I am not a fan of what is happening. Let's try the Drago Fang again. Let's try to. Oh, it's tough. Has already been pierced. Okay. So you literally have to use it once. I, I want to try anyways, just to be sure. I, I don't want to just assume like, you know what? This is like the finishing move you have to do. Ooh. Okay. Um, let's. It's our last beef jerky. I I am a little scared that we're gonna die at this point. It's it's like, can we have like enough? Cause I feel like we're a little bit behind. I hope not. Sprinting bomb. It's one last attack. Oh my god! Stop! Finish! Stop! 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 Rotation, please. There we go. You win. Ugh, the mortal attacks are just so scary. They're so scary. But I think that someone told me about that actually when I was doing an Arc Rise Fantasia stream. Where a boss does like a similar thing where it explodes at the end, but this one at least you can like stop the counter. 486 experience points. Level 15, yes! Uh, HP went up by 6, offense went up by 2, defense went up by 1, speed went up by 1. Alright, good job, Flint. I'm sorry. Sorry, Chimera. This was not the fate that I wanted for you. Damn. He's still up? No. Oh no, oh dear. That's... I didn't want this to happen, but there was no other choice. I'm sorry. No! Oh! Baby, no! That was his mama. He... Flint, don't do it! That won't solve anything! You only make the child go through what Lucas and Claus had to! Baby Drago, I'm sorry. <gasps> it may be a robot, but it's still his mama. And <sighs> oh dear. And there's Claus. The fighting never ends, does it, but... It is possible until now, the people of Tasmania Village have never known sadness. On sunny and on cloudy days, they always greet each other with smiles. They lived in harmony with the creatures of the forest. The strong would help the weak, and those who would share it with those who had not. However, it now appears the villagers have learned all too much about sadness. Suddenly, everything is changing for the worst. When did this change begin? Where did it happen? What set it in notion, and why? Almost as if toys, the peaceful animals are being transformed into strange, ferocious creatures that attack people. Some people like Flint have even had their families torn apart. Just what is this suspicious group that wears pig masks? What are these eerie objects that soar through the once beautiful skies? And where could the missing claws be? The mysteries continue to pile up. And so, the tale first begins as a tragedy. Oh dear. Things aren't, just, aren't gonna get any better from here, are they? Looks like we're in for a long haul, guys. Oh my god. Well... I just feel terrible. It's like, that's a, such a bitter note to, to like start the story on. And that's just the first chapter. Hop. Get up. <laughs> Hello, I'm a frog. Shall I record everything that's happened so far? Uh, I guess so. I guess that's where we end things off in this episode. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Pixel Plume. I will see you guys in the next one. Till then.